has good shrimp, cooked really well. It tastes fresh. I just really want to try this fish. Mmm, so good. from Jakarta Bay, Indonesia. We're at a modern fish market. It is called Pasar Ikan Modern Muara Baru, which means it's a modern fish market big. It is very interesting, only open five years, and you can go downstairs, you buy directly from the fishermen, you negotiate, haggle directly with them. You take your goods, your fish, your seafood, and then you go upstairs, and it's like a food court vendor kind of situation. I've never been here, but I think it sounds so interesting. And we're gonna go buy some fish and then head upstairs. All right, so we're in the fish market. We're going to pick out what to eat first, and then we take it upstairs. I think we've decided on we're going to do squid, shrimp, and one barbecued fish. We haven't decided on which fish yet, but here's the thing. You need to have clear eyes. You need to have bounce back skin. If I don't see a clear eye, I don't want that fish. This place is so big and it's very wet. This actually isn't that wet but there are puddles in most of the places that you kind of have to navigate around. I mean, it is a fish market. So how you can tell a good fish is it has to have clear eyes. The snapper looks good. These eyes do not look very clear. to show that's good you want to try this yeah yeah i'll try it yeah i'll try a pair of fish all right i think we're gonna try a pair of fish he showed us behind the gill that it was fresh eyes are fresh how much is it i don't know that's one kilo what's the price per kilo 55 per kilo ah Everyone wants to sell the crab, but for me, crab meat is too much effort. Are we getting squid? All right, we're getting half a kilo of squid. I think they try to get us to buy two. I've never seen a fish market so busy late in the day, but I did see the fishermen leaving the boats totally different than what we do in other places where it's first thing in the morning. All right, we've got squid, shrimp, parrotfish. Just a couple tips. I think you should wear closed-toed shoes because it's really wet in there, but shoes that maybe you don't like so much, I would not go in flip-flops because then your feet are just gonna be covered in fish water. Up to you. Few other tips. One, make sure you see that the scale is at zero. Two, make sure they take the hand off the scale when you look at it. So if you're ordering one kilo, you actually get one kilo. Three, you gotta negotiate the price. So they give you the price and then you've gotta negotiate down. A lot of really interesting fish there. Um, some looked fresher than others. I know they're all supposed to be fresh, but I didn't believe it. Some of that fish was not, was yesterday's fish. Yes. And if you're foreign, you're definitely getting yesterday's fish. Make sure, clear eyes. Oh, and they call this a food court. So you walk up here, and there's music, lots of people. Ooh, cool. This place is huge. So this place starts at 4 p.m. and goes through the evening. And then you've got tons of different vendors. Luckily, Aloy has been here before. He knows how it works because to me it all looks fantastic. We chose a 
spot, it's actually the same spot that Aloy has been to two or three times and he says it's great. And I asked him, how did he know which vendor to go to first? Why did he choose this the first time? And he told me that's because when he saw the cook, the cook was Chinese. And I guess if you're Chinese, you have a reputation of being a better seafood cook. So that is why he's always coming here and he really likes it. Now, how it works is you have these kilos of food and they will either cook it on the oven, stove top, for 30,000 a kg or they will barbecue it for 25,000 a kg. So we then went through the menu and decided how did we want it. Did we want it black pepper squid or hot and sour? I didn't know. I mean, everything is going to be good to me. So Aloy pretty much chose all the things that he thought were the best, but also not too spicy for me. On one side, you can see all of these people. I think they're cooking coconut shells on the grill, getting the grills ready. And then in the back, now Aloy also shared with me that the prices that you get downstairs are about 20,000 less than you would pay in a fish market and I think that's because it's the end of the day so fish markets open first thing in the morning they're gonna sell to their main vendors now the fish is still fresh towards the end of the day at 4 p.m. but it's best to get rid of it and move on to the next fresh fish of the day and that's why you're getting this deal and they're making it easy for you. You get the deal downstairs and well, whatever you spend on that deal, you're gonna spend up here. But dinner is made for you fresh in front of you. Three sambals we're having. This one is soy and it's sweet. This is a mango and this is a shrimp paste. All right, so the first thing we have is a shrimp in a butter sauce. It's udang goreng mantega, and it's in butter, a little bit of clam sauce, some dark soy sauce. We've got some green onion on top. Smells so good, cooked in its shells. We've got squid two different ways. This is tumi lada itam, which is squid in black pepper. Smells so good. I think this one might be a little bit spicy from that black pepper. And then this is to me, South Padang. And it is probably gonna be a little bit too spicy for me, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. I'm definitely gonna give it a shot. And then we have some water spinach, and this fish has come. Wow, this is what you come for. So this is a parrot fish that they put cooking over those coconut shell. This is so impressive. They split it in two for you. So much food. Okay, so I get the sense from Aloy that eating this shrimp was worth his allergic reaction. Mm. Mm, it's very sweet. Mm. That's good shrimp. And it's Cooked fresh. really well. It tastes fresh. fresh. Yeah. I've had lots of shrimp that doesn't quite taste fresh or you can tell that it was frozen, thawed, refrozen, kind of tastes mealy in your mouth. This is really good. I just really want to try this fish. You can tell on the outside, it's got that crust. Look at that piece hanging. Mmm. Oh yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. Charcoal flavor, the charcoal flavor. And then you do get the sense of, just like a, that coconut kind of gives it just this little aroma. It's amazing fish. What I love about coming here and hanging out with Aloy is that he's just like, you need to try the fish with the mango sambal. I'm like, okay, what, what should we eat next? Because everything he recommends is so good. It's just really nice to have someone tell you what to eat. And that's what I'm doing for you. I'm telling you, come to this fish market. You need to come eat it. This is a little bit of the ma mango. Yeah. Like that? Yeah, put it on top. Alright. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mmm. That's really good. It's like mango on top of the charcoal on top of the coconut. Mmm. Good. And it tastes fresh. Very fresh. Mmm. This is black pepper sauce. 
Wow. Mm. A little bit spicy, a little bit tangy. We waited for the fish to eat the squid, and I actually thought that the squid was going to be a little bit too tough. You want to eat that fresh, hot right away, but it's still very tender. What I was a little bit worried that would be too hot. Got my water ready just in case. Got lots of rice. Wow. It's hot, not too hot. I need some water. I'm not dying. I would say with all the food here, all of the fish, the seafood, the condiments, everything tastes very, very fresh. The nice thing too is you get to try some things that are from different parts of the country. So this is from Sumatra. And then here, this sambal is from Sulawesi. North Sulawesi. North Sulawesi. Manadu. Manadu, which you were, you lived in. Yeah, yeah. You lived in. And so all of these things, you, I won't be able to go to Sulawesi this time, but I can still try the flavors. And then we also... The water spinach. The water spinach. It almost looks like a broccoli rabe or... Mmm. Mmm. Salty from the shrimp paste. A little bit spicy. Um, a little bit of soy sauce, I think, in there. Maybe yeah. some fish, something like that. It's really tasty. Called a prayer. We are done. We didn't actually finish all of the food, but um, Aloy's sister wants to take the rest of the shrimp. He's gonna take some home of the fish and the squid. There's lots of food, as I said, for us, and then many more people. It's Saturday night. This place is getting really busy because it's the weekend. I think this is gonna be the place to be. But what an amazing experience! This is in Jakarta Bay. Even if you don't speak the language, you know, if you're comfortable with haggling, this is a really great place to do it. I just had an incredible meal. Now, I hope you stick around for the next video, which will be eating night street food. Street food at night. See you then. Join my Patreon community for more behind the scenes and exclusive content you won't find elsewhere. You can also find me on Instagram and be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. All of these things make my day. Thank you so much for your support.